everyone has a mindset. Everyone has that uh, point on their compass, so to speak, that they're really headed toward. Now, they may say one thing, but they're really headed another direction, and that's where self-honesty will come into play. Paul talked about in Romans 8, 5, those who serve the flesh and those who serve the spirit. Now, again, it's really easy to say, yes, I'm all about heaven, I'm all about Christianity, while the secret place of one's heart is really about the earth and fleshly things, and while other people may not be able to see that difference, God can always see that difference, and that's the only judge that counts. Whether people like you or not really doesn't matter a whole lot. Whether God approves or not, that has an eternal impact, right? It's really important. So in Colossians 3, verse 1 and 2, he said, set your mind on things above. We're supposed to set our mind on heaven. It is supposed to be our number one priority. That is not to say that we cannot enjoy some things in this life. Obviously, we do. But our mind is always on heaven. That priority is there. This world is not our home. We're just passing through. We are pilgrims. We are going to die. Everybody's going to die. Now, what happens after you die? And that's where the pilgrim's priority is, is on what's happening after we die and living this life in such a way to optimize, to be saved, to have heaven after we die. So this is more than just claiming one is a Christian. One doesn't just claim to be a Christian. One is a Christian. It is something they do 24-7. They wake up in the morning, they're a Christian. They're a Christian every minute of the day. They go to bed, they're a Christian. They treat their mate like they are a Christian. They treat their family like they work like a Christian. It's all about Christianity. It's the all-consuming theme that runs through everything in life. That's the mindset. That's the one that gets to heaven. Now, again, I'm not saying that you got to go be part of a monastery, become a recluse somewhere hidden away from the world. Absolutely not. We're supposed to be the salt of the world, and we're supposed to get out of the salt shaker, not go hide in it. We're supposed to be a light, not hid under a basket, but one that shines. And I think you have to get out in the world to do that shining. But when you're out there, your mindset is this is all about Christianity. This is all about God and the things that we stand for. So we seek God in everything we do. We're seeking his glory. We're seeking his face. We're seeking his honor. We're seeking to be home with him. And let's be honest, some people aren't. Some people see religion as a tool to use to advance their own agenda. To some people, they want God not as their leader, but as their servant. They want God to be there like the genie in the lamp who's going to answer their prayers like magical wishes and not actually there to seek God himself. And there's a major difference in that, and that's a big uh, possible downfall for a lot of folks on the spiritual path is this whole idea that I'm going to hook up with God and God is going to make my earthly life, my earthly agenda, all come true. And he's going to bless my life. And, and I'm just going to have money and healthy kids and a wonderful marriage and a great career. And the fact of the matter is, is if you truly seek the face of God, you could die early like Stephen in Acts chapter 7. You could go through torments like the Apostle Paul list in 2 Corinthians 11, starting at verse 22. Seeking God doesn't mean he's going to sprinkle magical, wonderful blessings all over your life to make an earthly agenda come true. It's all about heaven. And Paul said, we must through many tribulations enter the kingdom of heaven. So what's your mindset? When you think about Christianity, what is your mindset? What is the purpose? What is the core of Christianity? And if it's just selfish blessings, you missed it. So there's something pretty deep to think about. Give it some thought. And as always, have a great day.